Dreamhouse Improvement Biodigesters, we are back at it again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to construct a biofuel biodigester using blocks. The other understanding is that it's also a large family size biodigester and it's for a four bedroom house. We are adding soak away to it, we are giving it an overflow pipe as well, and then we are creating a typical soak away inside the biodigester insert. And of course, giving an overflow pipe that will be laid all the way to the outside of the building for drainage for a possible connection in the near future. Let's go. Director, I go drop the gun. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> so this is happy. Happy. Yo. How far? Cool. This is a typical large family size biodigester. But then obviously you are adding a different understanding to it. The, the 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 idea in this particular case is that you are you are doing a soak hole pit you are also giving an overflow pipe and then you are doing a soak away a traditional small size soak away inside the digester is on no busy <laughs> the skills day it's by god it's by god eh? it's so, it's so, it's so. so I mean, I know people usually say that by digesters know the work and all those stuff. And then I know with me and you, you have done over, I, I mean, how many can over, <laughs> over 3,000 digesters in this town. Especially looking at how you have got, you have this contract with this house like this. And then if you do large, by digester, give them. So in this situation, why are you doing it like this? Mm. You want to give them, or there, there are some of the things that are your secret, you can't show people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, we are doing, mm -hmm. we are doing separate soak away, mm -hmm. and at the same time, we are doing overflow. Yeah. In case if the soak away is not soaking, yeah, then the water will pass through the overflow, the overflow pipe. Exactly. The data. But when you came here, what made you make such a decision? Usually, what will lead you to decide? On such a situation, mm, it's it the type is a type of the soil. So, uh, yeah, the soil that you meet. Yeah, after studying the soil, we came to realize that it will not soak fast. Mm. So you have to do overflow for it. Mm. So, so, but this will also work in most of the other situations. Sure, mm. sure. But then there are other cases where you do a typical soak away separately from this one. What, yeah. what what to lead to that? What you for do before? And so then I saw you answer now. What you for do before you, you decide the, on that one? If the place is clear, mm. you have to do a separate soak away, the uh, traditional one. Yes, the traditional soak away. Yeah. Sure. yeah. If it's clear. Yeah. Mm. If the place cannot soak fast. Uh, okay. Let me not take your time. You can do your work. Yeah, here we are also recording you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Typically. With uh, biodigester construction, as the understanding is there, we have the precast slab that we use. We also have the blocks that are used in the construction process. Usually, when you are using blocks, you need a, somebody with a bit of expertise in terms of the block laying, because naturally you want the blocks to have the right layers, the right adjustments, and everything that comes with making a biodigester look good when it's constructed with a block. So after digging of the ground and then meeting the right requirement and the measurement, your next thing obviously is to lay the block. And this one has been done already with a size of six by four. And then screening is going to be done by the soak away. It's also been done 
what you are seeing right now is the pipe that has been laid, the pipe from the other toilet seats that has been laid and then it's been connected on top of the digester with an overflow pipe at the base as well. So right now, what you are seeing or what we are doing is basically doing the traditional small size soak away in the digester itself. The whole idea is to make sure that the chamber in which the digester bed will be laid is not disturbed when the, there's an excess water in case of an overflow of the water it has not come back into the digester bed and then it also means that you are creating a room for the overflow pipe to work in case there's a worst case scenario whereby the soak away that you are also constructing for the dry digester does not work so you are filling all the potholes you are filling all the loopholes you are solving all the situations that usually lead to the problems that will affect the biodigester when it is constructed. And that's what this particular type of biodigesters are about. It's a bit innovative, it's a bit creative, and I must confess, it's a few things that we have done that we've not shown other people, or we've not done a video on it. This is the first time we are doing this video to show how some of this stuff is done. So this is the inlet coming all the way from the top. There's a guest seat here. And then there's the, one of the rooms from the top is also here. And then it's being connected. I mean, we are going to leave the pipe there for for the connection to be done in there. We decided on this location for the digester because we were thinking of having a pipe laid before the groundwork is done here to with an end cap on it to the end of the of the building when the plumber is doing all the other layings or when the plumber is laying all the other pipes he is going to lay this one as well as part of the waistline and go and drop it there hoping that in a worst case scenario if there should be an excess water it can be taken out into a future drainage that will be constructed in front of the house um, happy, let me ask you this so. When we are doing a digester and then you are doing screening like this, huh? I know some people have asked that why don't you do concrete inside the, the digester itself instead of doing the screening and the normal motor? In your estimation or in your experience, why do you think you don't usually do the, the concrete? I know there are a few cases when there's water log area and stuff, you've done some, some concrete work and stuff. This one, there's no pressure on it. There, there's no pressure. So there's no need for concrete. Concrete. Yeah. Mm. And the water will... will, will the, so no that water the water will, side will not sink. Sink, exactly. Yeah, directly. Mm. Yeah. There's going to be a slope. Yeah. A slope for the water, the gradient will be there, and the water will always be leaving the digester. Sure. Mm. Mm -hmm. my, my, my issue is that because it's a technology that people don't know, no? whenever you are doing it and people see that, they always marvel and wonder, say, ah, are you sure this thing is going to work? If people, this thing they do, are you sure it's going to work? And then they start using it and they're like, wow. <laughs> that thing, you know the full up, oh? Hello. <laughs> like the full up, but now we did jail. We did jail, eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the number of jobs, man. Hello. Maybe. 
So the bedding, the bedding is being prepared. The bed, bed preparation for laying of the biodigester bed. After the screening, you know what to do. Put your blocks, or especially cast precast slabs, on top of the slope that you have created for the wastewater to go into the soak hole pit. So after putting the porous on the prepared digester bed, the next thing is to do the fiber net. The fiber net is the best option when it comes to some of the materials that you use for your biodigester because it lasts longer than the mosquito nets that we were using when we started this biodigester construction. Before the fiber, the treated coconut fiber itself is laid on it. I have a question for you. <laughs> okay. The fiber, treated fiber net is being laid on the digester bed. This is where the action actually happens and the biodegradation takes place. There are other options like uh, POP, sawdust and hay or green grass that other people also use. But typically your best bet is always to get a coconut treated fiber, treated coconut husk. That will help with the decomposition. And then usually when you do this, you don't necessarily need to add any bioenzymes to it. I, like I always say, the bioenzyme is where there's a problem and then you are trying to sort it out artificially. So after the digester bed has been laid, the top slab is being put on it. The top, the top slab must always be cast ahead and then left to dry probably overnight, a day or two, depending on where it's been done and the type of soil you are using for the slab making. Usually there's a, a, a wire mesh that's used. There's also a three-eight cutter rods or iron rods that are also added to it to give it that necessary strength. Mm -hmm. The top slab is being put on it, but there's a clean out on it. What the clean out does is to allow the homeowner to have a routine inspection done anytime he needs to. I mean, it might not be necessary, but occasionally this is necessary because then you don't want anybody to be opening the biodigester, which must be airtight <laughs> all the time. So the top slab is being put on it, the final top slab, and then it's going to be sealed airtight. There's also the issue of vent pipes on biodigesters, which I've done a lot of videos on. Like I've always said, biodigesters work in an environment free, in an oxygen free environment. And therefore you do not need, you do not need a vent pipe to make it work. The vent pipe must be on the building. And that's where your vent pipe must be. Vent pipe must be on the building, must be part of the toilet solution in the house. And then the digester must be airtight, airtight, sealed airtight because of the anaerobic digestion process that it uses. So the soak hole pit is being attached to the digester. It's an additional soak hole pit. Apart from the soak away, traditional soak away in the digester itself. And then there's an overflow pipe. So this digester has got three things. A soak hole pit, a soak away, and an overflow pipe leading all the way. Thank you so much for watching this video. What you saw right there behind us is a construction of a biofuel biodigester with a typical 
soak whole pit, as traditional soak away, and of course an overflow pipe that will take the wastewater all the way to the drainage system or the gutter that will be constructed in front of the house there. It's a channel dedicated to the construction of biodigesters and of course other building construction in Ghana in general. House renovations, house stores are some of the other stuff that we are going to be doing as part of the improvement of homes in Ghana. If you are new to the channel, subscribe and like this video as well. Until next time, bye-bye.